Once you take a drink of this water, you will never, never thirst, thirst again. again. That's right. But the beauty yeah. of that is, one, you know, we as women, and what I had to understand in my single years and in those bad relationships is that God is the only one who can meet your deepest love need. Facts. Yeah. Yep. In Facts. and outside of marriage. Yeah. However, yeah. we serve a God that sees us so well that he demonstrated in that passage mm -hmm. that he understands our need to be loved. Mm -hmm. So much so that we will go to great lengths to experience it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why it doesn't matter what pedigree the woman is. Uh, she can be, you know, an Ivy League school. She can have a PhD. She can make six figures. You're like, why would she date a guy like that? Yeah. Why would she stay with a guy that treat her, treats <laughs> yeah. her that way? Still searching for love. Because we need to be loved. God created us to be in relationship. He created us for companionship. Yeah. Man. And he understands. And he demonstrated it with that beautiful woman from Samaria who went on to be <laughs> able to tell everybody about what God had done in and through her. Mm -hmm. Wow. So let's continue talking about what God did in and through y'all. Yes. Right. So he slid in your DM. And what year was that? In 2021? Okay, so that was 2021 yep. in the March. thick of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. yep. I, I literally was at home doing absolutely nothing. I yep. had no prospects. Yep. None wow, of that. Wow. And so he reaches out to me. Yep. And tell him what happened, though. Yeah, so it's amazing. Uh, so I was just in fasting and praying. Like I said, I had this, this breakup. And so I just went, I said, you know what? I'm going cold turkey. Lord, uh, listen, I need to hear from you and I need to find my wife, you know? Uh, so in March, uh, what I did was I went into prayer and I started pacing the floor. So I saw this image of Kanita out of nowhere. It was just when you saw know. the image, did you know it was her when you saw it? I did. Okay. But I didn't know why. I'm like, why is this? Why am I thinking about this woman? So three <laughs> times, I'm, I, the first thought that came to my mind, I, and I, I just saw her in my head, and, and I, it just, it was like God just put this image of her right there. And so, so the first time I said, Lord, is this me? Is this you? You know what I mean? Like, which, which one? Which one? You? Yeah. Which one to play today? Yeah. You know what I mean? So the second time, I just begin to intercede for her. Most times when God shows me in a vision or a dream, praying. people, yep, I'm like automatically, Lord, whatever need needs to be met, what is whatever it is you want to speak to them or show them, mm -hmm. make it happen. So I pray for the third time. I literally said, okay, Lord, speak. Because it was, it was so strong. It was like I didn't have any peace until I got the answer why I was thinking about it. So the Lord spoke. And, and the three occurrences was in the same moment. The same moment right there because I inquired of the Lord. Mm. So he said, just like you're doing right now. See, God is not spooky. He's special. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, 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 it doesn't take rocket science when it's God. So mm. he said in a practical way, just like you are right now, send her a message and tell her you're thinking about her. Mm. And that's it. Now, you got to understand something, yeah. Terrence. That right there hit, though. That I'm hit. telling you. It hit. You, you slot. Okay, go ahead. I never, ever wanted to date, marry, or meet anybody. Again, according to my preference, I'm like, it, I'm thinking maybe it's somebody I knew a long time, I yeah. went to school with. I never would have thought I would have met my wife through social media <laughs> or making an approach or an attempt to mm -hmm. meet her through social media. Mm -hmm. But it was clean. It was clean. It was godly. Mm -hmm. So God was just like, send her a message and tell her you're thinking about her. Just like that. I sent the message to her. Now, you got to keep in mind, the other two messages she didn't see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now so, that you, took some yeah, it's a risk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's a, a risk. risk. It's, there's a like, risk. I'm wasting my time again. Right. This woman ain't thinking twice about me. I'm going to call exactly. one of her friends and tell uh, her. Right, right, right. right. DMs. Send the message. Because clearly you don't check your DMs. <laughs> and that's where we can go wrong is, well, maybe now we want to start rationalizing with God. Mm. And no, if God said do it a certain way, do it a certain just way. do it his way. Because the way he told you oh that thing right there will land sir oh it will land oh it will land sir. Listen, oh but that's sir. the evidence yeah. of the fact that <laughs> the reason why we are married today yeah the reason why i am a wife today wow. and sitting on this couch right now wow. is because i have a man who hears from god thank you talk about wow. and obeys him thank you lord so when he said thank that you. how long did it when he sent that how long was it before you saw <laughs> it this is the crazy part now <laughs> Yeah. Anybody that's a friend of mine, they really love me because I'm horrible with yeah. DMs, okay? Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. on Facebook. Sure. But <laughs> right, 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 right. I saw that message minutes after he sent it, and that's that is crazy. so unlike me. That's crazy. And so I actually was like, what? 
who who is this? <laughs> and the crazy part was this was at a, a very pivotal time in right. my life. Yeah, because you said you was in this you was in this season. I of, was in this season. Of brokenness and trying yep. to figure out something, have, recalibrating after heartbreak. Yep, right. yeah. absolutely. Just really trying to figure out, okay, God, maybe it is just going to be, yeah. I don't have that purpose partner. Maybe yeah. it is wow. just me fulfilling my call, yeah. which, which that satisfies me, even though I still desire to be a wife. Mm -hmm. So when I saw his message, I was like, who is this guy? So I started looking at his page and I said, that's the guy I met back in Detroit. That's Seven crazy. years ago. Right, Seven right, right. years ago. <laughs> and I was actually lamenting that week because mm -hmm. we had just laid to rest one of the closest women to me uh, in my life. She was my big sister. She helped shape me to be, uh, uh, she was part of who helped me to become the woman I am today. Mm -hmm. And I was up against a major doctoral deadline. And so I was just really stressed. And so I, me seeing that message in that moment was just like unbelievable. So I responded. I'm like, oh, hey, how are you? I said, I'm so sorry. I missed all your messages before, <laughs> you know. Repent. Yes. Repent. Repent yes. Come on. He was so gracious and everything. He was like, no, it's all good. I just wanted to let you know I was thinking about you. Just wanted to know I support what you're yep. doing. Yep. Love what you're doing out here. And I was like, well, thank you so much. He was like, well, would you mind me asking yep. if you're single? There it right. is. Right. Shoot your shot, Ron. Bing. Go. go. There that's, it is. that's the part. <laughs> About being saved and satisfied and, and secluded and all of that. Listen, there's just a real side. It's got to okay, be. Okay, after yeah. you obey God, then then the Bible says, forget not his benefits towards us. <laughs> forget He's not so his benefits. Let me be beneficial to you, sister. You know? <laughs> he was like, but the, the thing about Ryan that's so amazing is that he is extremely intentional. It started with that direct question. He encouraged me. He was so gracious. Now, I've gotten... A, a million DMs sure. over my single life. Absolutely. Some of them, you know, were so disturbing that it actually gave me doubts about being married. Yeah. Because not all of them was from single men. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wow. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, when he did that, he said, you know, I told him, yeah, I'm single. He said, yeah. I can't believe you're single, but yeah. I would love to come and just show you a great time. Yep. I was That's like, well, where are you? I was like, where are you at? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh yeah, I God. need a pound right here. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah. Oh, yes, he sir. said, "I would love to come." Yep. See, that means he has to go. Yeah. Uh -oh. not, not, see, see, go yes, ahead. sir. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Deal with that. Deal with that. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying not to preach right now, <laughs> Ryan. It gets better. He, he said, "Go ahead. Go it ahead." It gets better. <laughs> go so ahead. first of all, he didn't even know where I was. It, he okay. Said, wherever you at? So I'm wherever be you at? Exactly. Yes, so he's like, I said, "Well, where are you?" He said, "I'm in Detroit." He's like, "Where are you at? You in Houston?" I said, "No." I said, "I'm in Philadelphia." He's like, "Oh, girl, that ain't nothing but a flight." He was like, "I will come there." He was like, "I'll plan everything out." And I, I actually didn't believe him, to be honest with right. you. I didn't think he was going to go to that lane. Yeah. Not that because I didn't feel like I was worth it, sure. but because after you've encountered so many men who have not kept their word, wow. you're just like, okay, I'll believe it yeah, when like, you hear. Right you know up. what I mean? Right. So he actually, not only did he fly to Philadelphia, but he arranged an entire <laughs> weekend. Mm -hmm. Where he met my father, he yeah. set up a picnic for us. We hold went on, out hold to on, talk. Hold on, I mean, hold on. stop. <laughs> so you went and met her father the first weekend. The first Why? weekend, you know, it it ended up happening that way because before I left, he was available, and God really orchestrated the whole weekend. Yeah, he really did. I originally I was ready to meet him the second time. That I came back, but it just ended up happening. He was available. I said, and she. And so, so you she inquired about his availability. I sure did. Absolutely. You asked him. I need. I need to meet him because I. 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 I <laughs> now I was in a place where I went because if we back up, one of the parts that my wife didn't say that oh, we yeah. just forgot. Two weeks before I came, we fasted and we prayed as friends. Mm -hmm. She was in a place already where she was fasting and praying, and our church had just fasted and prayed. And I said, "I tell you what, I'm gonna join you." But this, these are the things we're specifically gonna pray about because she was sharing things, you know, certain things about just in her life personally, and some things, and you know, some family things that she was just believing God for. I said, oh, "Wait a minute, well, we gonna touch and agree about this right now. Let's put on hold what I think I'm feeling. Let's agree to, about God right now. Let's let that be our common denominator." So we went mm -hmm. before the Lord, fasted and prayed. We talked every morning, early in the morning. We prayed, mm -hmm. went about our day, and so it was like. 
this was really weird. It was like a Song of Solomon moment. Mm. I was becoming more attracted to her through the word. And this is what men don't understand. Oh, God, I feel your presence. The thing is, is you can have a woman, but if you don't have a woman of the word, if you if you don't agree, the mm. Bible says, how can two walk together except they agree? That means the root word for relationship is to relate. Talk about you it. You got to be able to relate to that person before you jump in the bed with them. Yep. You want to you want to jump in the bed, you want to have babies mm. and sign documents that you don't even have no rights to. Mm. So I made it very evident I'm not a boyfriend, I'm a husband. I told and her. He said that, he said that in our first phone Ryan, conversation. Ryan, Ryan, I want Terrence, you to, go ahead. You jumping no, out your no, skin. No, no, I want you to say that one more time. Yes, that sir. you're not a what? I'm not a boyfriend. I'm a husband. I say that all the time. I say, yes, sir. I tell women, I'm like, listen. Yes, sir. They're like, why you ain't with nobody? Yep. I said, because I don't want a girlfriend. Wow. I want a wife. I said, I'm not going to sit around. And, I said, my sons are at the ages Thank to you. have girlfriends. Thank like, you. I'm yeah. a grown man. What I look like talking about, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. Taking exactly. her to the, the, the Christmas family exactly. dinner. Whatever, my girlfriend. Then the next year, exactly. there's a new girlfriend. A new I'm a grown gr- man. I'm yes. 44 years old. What wow. I 